Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's unboxing video features Hephaestus Shoemaker. Hephaestus is the brand name of shoemaker Tan Le, based out of Saigon, Vietnam. He imbues both his shoes with a unique style, and in this day and age, it's hard to find brands that have a really strong character that sets them apart from everybody else, and Tan very much does that. This is the box here of his Optimum line. As you can see, this is a wooden box. And so we're gonna open up this box. You can see just the beautiful metal work on the edges here. There's a latch you can see right here. And then, wow, look at this beautiful long shoehorn. This looks like actual bone here from what I can tell. Yep, really fantastic. And I've gotten his shoehorns in the past. This is definitely an improvement. Here's the packaging, just so you can get an idea here. You can see the, the tissue paper as well as the bubble wrap. And oh, here we go, look at that. A couple of shoe bags. These are not branded shoe bags. And here, my friends, wow, is his shoe. Same. Here is shoe number two. I'm gonna close up our shoe box here and take the two shoes and give you a closer look at them together. In this view here, I wanted you to get a sense for the style and the flow of these shoes. And so, for example, look at how this line just flows and cur you know, curves. Everything just flows in a very shapely way. Even the lettering seems to flow along the arc of the curve of the back heel. This is a Monroe style heel, which I had not heard of. that he found in archival shoe wear and makeups and decided to include in this repertoire of refinements. So you can see this curved, almost woodsman style or Cuban style heel, but with a more dramatic curve. And I think it works really well with this shape here. We have a three eyelet design here, um, three metal eyelets. Um, that is a classic chukka design. You see this stitching along the collar towards the facing of the shoe and this unique side stitch here, which actually joins two different pieces of shell cordovan. This is a olive shinky shell cordovan with a patina applied to it. Very beautiful color that will change based on how you hold the shoe. As you can see this chiseled toe shape, and you will see that this is actually a square chisel that he has used. And overall, just a beautiful, clean, elegant, yet aggressive design with this monogramming that you also see here. So first thing that I wanted to show you was how clean the seam stitching done on the upper is here. Everything is done with incredible precision. I'm sure this is machine stitch based off of what I'm seeing here. And you can see the beautiful stitch work done on the monogram as we pull that up close. If we look towards the top of the shoe, you can see a shoe tree included on the inside here, as well as this sizing, this I'm size 44. That's a Brannock 10D for those of you who are interested. You see this beautiful piping done on the collar of the shoe here um, that adds to the flare and gives it a nice clean look, as well as a little piece of shell cordovan done to protect from any sort of wear. As I pull forward, you're gonna see this square toed last here with again, that chisel shape. Pulling into this detail here, you see this really well done braided chain stitch welting. Done by Tan, just beautifully done chain stitching. This is a Norwegian style welt at 180 degrees circumference around the shoe, but it also allows you to create a very narrow, aggressively narrow waist here because the welting ends here and the rest of this can be done um, to allow this waist to be rather narrow. You see this aggressive fiddleback waist here. Unique to Hephaestus is this particularly aggressive scalloped heel block here, which I think is really well done. And of course you see this beautiful patina work on the sole here, 
I wanted to show you that before I start wearing the shoes. You also see his King logo here, which designates his optimum or high-end line. This is a very well-placed toe here. Everything is done just with a tremendous amount of detail. If I pull to the sides, you can see this gentle beveled edge to the waist here as well as this offset heel block that separates the heel block from the waist, both on the medial and lateral side here. And then if we pull into the heel block so you can get a closer look at this Monroe style heel, you can see the fudge detailing applied to the upper part of the heel block, and then this additional monogram detail along the bottom front of that heel. Other features to highlight here are this beautiful set of cordovan aglets which are the protectors to the end of the lacing here. Um, but this is a nice ornamental touch that I've seen before in Enzo Bonafe and I believe Stefano Bemmer's shoes. And then again, just a detail on the welt stitching here, done extremely, extremely cleanly. I think that stitch has actually been hidden under the fudging there. So here is the other initial here. You can see the detailing on this heel block Right here, the upper seam stitching, the three eyelets, just beautifully done. Let me give you a perspective on the back heel shape here. You can see how this shoe catches light very uniquely and beautifully. Beautifully done shoe by Hephaestus Shoemaker. Give Tan a try if you're interested in the highest end of skill and craftsmanship in classic menswear done at an actually affordable price using high quality leathers, incredible fit and finishing. As I mentioned, I love Tan for his desire and his efforts to become the best possible shoemaker. Hard to imagine a more stylish shoe in my closet than this pair of chuckas from Hephaestus Shoemaker. Hope you're all doing well. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.